Welcome back, my friends. If you live in Flint, learn everything you need to know about blood cancer, get support and quality care. I'm so delighted to have Lauren joining me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Appreciate you. it, of course. You're hosting this blood cancer in Flint event, but first, tell me a little bit about the prevalence. Is that is it a big problem in the area? Yeah, so uh, someone is diagnosed with a blood cancer every 10 minutes in the United States, um, and in Flint, we are seeing a higher prevalence of blood cancers um, due to a yeah, lot of different factors, exactly. but the, the water crisis being one of those that could be leading to that. We don't have all the details right. yet on how that's all unfolded, but yes, there's a high prevalence of blood cancers in general in the Flint area. And that's why you're holding this event, and I'm so glad that you are, because this is what the community really needs. So what is going on at the event? I know you have some special speakers coming in, yeah. resources available. Yeah, so it's going to be October 6th. Um, we are inviting our uh, Dr. Craig Cole from Carmanos Cancer Institute. Yes. He is a myeloma expert, um, mm -hmm. which is a type of blood cancer that primarily affects uh, black and African Americans at two times the rate of any other race, wow. which is a whole issue in and of itself. Yeah. Um, but we are bringing him in uh, to talk about blood cancers, just really inform people what are blood cancers um, and how do they affect us, how are they treated, answer those questions. Um, but we're also bringing in a social worker that mm. has extensive experience, um, Anisha Turnipseed. She's going to share all about um, really how to navigate through the system. When you're diagnosed, how do you find support how do you navigate that um, and how do you work with your care team to get the care that you need um, as well as we'll hear from Arthur Woodson who is a local advocate yes. in uh, Flint who is the reason that this event is happening in the first place that's great and, and people who who come out there they'll be able to get resources and information and yes. what to do I think that's what's so important when you yes. get diagnosed education so. is hugely mm. important when you're diagnosed I'm a survivor myself and I had no idea mm. what to do to and how to navigate yeah. um, when I was diagnosed. And so being LLS, uh, Leukemia Lymphoma Society, yes. really prides ourselves in educating our, uh, our community to just be able to navigate through such a hard time in their lives. Yes, well tell us about the event, when it is, yep. where it's at, and also do people need to register? Yes, please register. It is Sunday, October 6th um, from 12.30 to 2.30 at uh, St. Mark Missionary Baptist Church um, there in Flint in their outreach center. Um, and yes, there is a website to register. Uh, it's the naeventscloud.com yeah. slash events, not the prettiest URL, <laughs> but um, there is a code there on the screen if you need to, if you'd like to scan, yeah. um, or you can give me a call and I'm happy to to register you over the phone. That's awesome. And we will have all this information on our website, WNN.com. I have to say, you said you're a survivor. Congratulations. That's Thank you. awesome. You keep fighting. I love it. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining Thank us. Thank you so much for having you. me. Of course. If you have any ideas, my friends, on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PM News at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.